Hi everyone, this video is going to walk you through how to complete the updated faculty advisor transition process. So as you know, when students reach 15 college level credit hours, flags are raised in Starfish, alerting the student and you that they have been passed off to their faculty advisor for their major. So in order to show that the process was complete and that you reached out to your students, this video is going to walk you through those updated steps. So once you receive the notification from Starfish that the flags have been raised, and you'll also receive an email from your division advising coordinator um, with some helpful tips and some things that you can use to help make this process go by super quick. So once you receive that um, or those emails, you can um, get into MySark State and get into Starfish. And when you're ready, you're going to click on the hamburger in the top left hand corner. You're going to click on students. And if you land on my students, you can actually just go right over to tracking. Now, depending upon how you're using the Starfish system, you may or may not have a lot of different flags that you're managing, like for attendance or um, low grades, different things like that. So, so you do not have to sit here and click every other box looking for your faculty advisor transition flags. We're going to add a filter. So on tracking, come over to the right hand side and click on add filters. And then if you need to click on tracking items, make sure you have the status set to active. And then where it says item name, click the drop down and they're in alphabetical order and you're just going to look for faculty advisor transition. What this is going to do is this is going to hide all the other flags that you may be currently managing um, in Starfish. And then when you're ready, click Submit. And this will take your list down to only your faculty advisor transition flags. So from here, you need to send all of your new advisees um, a message. It's called a note in Starfish, and it will go directly to their Stark State Gmail account. So when you're ready, I'm going to bulk select all of my students so I don't have to individually click. And then you're going to click on the comment button up here at the top. Now in your in the email you receive from your division advising coordinator is a script that you can use for this email or you are more than welcome to type your own. So I'm going to copy the script that was given um, to me from the email. And then I'm going to paste the script only once. <laughs> and then you can come up with your own title if you would like. Um, I'm just going to type faculty advisor information. You might want to make it a little less dry than that if you wish. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll notice of the script, it says sincerely. You, are actually, you actually do not have to put your name or your email address with this message. The student automatically receives that when they receive this email. If you do want to put your phone number down here with your extension, you're more than welcome to do that. So after you've copied and pasted the script or you've created your own, the next box that you need to check is send a copy of this note to the student. If you don't check this, the student will not receive um, the email and then it will be kind of pointless. <laughs> so you do not need to check the other two boxes unless you really want to send a copy of this communication to yourself and it is not necessary that you send this email to the person in Gateway who raised these flags. So when you are done with all of this, you can click submit. And then I will show you what that message actually looks like on the students um, on the student side. So the email looks like this. Sorry, trying to pull it up here. So the bottom half down here is what the email looks like once you click that submit button and then when the student receives it hopefully they reply and then this top half up here is the reply coming directly back to your Stark State Gmail account. So that is step number one. So once you send the email to the student the last thing that you need to do for this process to sh be shown as complete is re select your students, click resolve, and then we are asking uh, moving forward for this process that um, all faculty select the last closure reason, which is student was contacted or a message sent with instructions. And then uncheck the box so you do not, again, this is to send this back to the student who raised the flag, or the person in Gateway who raised the flags, and that's totally not necessary. So uncheck that. And then when once you click submit, 
this will um, resolve all of your faculty advisor transition flags and mark you complete for completing this process. So thank you so much for doing this um, for your students. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your um, division advising coordinators. Thank you.